Uh, greetings, Taurus, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. I hope you're all well, and uh, let's dive right in and see what the cards have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And uh, my name is Ingrid, and I'll be doing this reading for you today. And this is what I have for my uh, Taurus as we come into this uh, timeless reading. This is what you need to know. And you're coming in with the Queen of Cups. Well, this is the energy around you, which is uh, very watery, uh, very emotional, very sensitive, a deep listener, someone who looks with her cup and she's very tender toward her feelings and has a, a trophy uh, almost. She honors her feelings so much that it's almost like a trophy that she puts out there. You could be talking to a counselor or someone who is deeply listening to your emotions. And dreams and intuition could be very important at this time uh, for you, Taurus. And uh, you are leaving behind any feeling of uh, self-sabotage, self-limiting thoughts, uh, that your emo emotions might be bringing up these deep feelings from the bottom. Look how she sits so comfortably at the water's uh, edge and her gown is almost made of water. And you see that you're kind of tangled up in these shallow waters, a Taurus, but to release uh, your blindfold and to look around, just take time to see, um, am I imprisoned or not? Uh, you can easily walk through this barricade of swords, which is the swords of your, of your own mind, of your own thoughts. So you could be overthinking your emotions at this time. And it's just to say um, that encourage your own self to let go of that and to be loving and sensitive uh, to what it is you're going through, but also to see that you have your castle right here behind you. It's not that far away. And so if there's any feeling of being isolated based on your own thought system that's keeping you uh, interfered with by others or by letting other people uh, challenge the way you're thinking or uh, control your thoughts with your uh, the way you're feeling about that. But you're going to let go of any poverty uh, consciousness. This is uh, low vibrating energy. And it's also connected to a sense of spiritual uh, poverty because you have forgotten being blindfolded uh, and tangled up that you have that spiritual energy of resources that are always flowing into us. Uh, and they're flowing through our deep feelings, our deep intuition, coming to us from our dreams. So to say at the foundation you might have felt lacking, left out, not good enough, not having enough money, to do the uh, things you want to do with others. But that is um, a false belief system that you're challenging now. That's part of the self-sabotage. And to recognize that you have all of this spiritual support uh, is always within you. Um, and you can come in out of the cold and you do belong. You have everything you need. And it's coming because uh, you're looking at the past, something from your childhood that maybe needs to be healed um, emotionally that has uh, caused you to self-sabotage, to feel like lacking, not good enough. Uh, and you're renewing that energy. You're weaving together from the memory a pool that the Queen of Wands, uh, I mean, excuse me, the Queen of uh, Cups is holding uh, that memory. And she's looking back to uh, the past in a way that maybe is coming into this maturity, this deep receptivity of looking at what was brought from the past and beginning to value it in a new way. Uh, to see this uh, feeling of innocence. And once we feel our innocence, we're halfway home because we then are open uh, beyond uh, this sense of lack. And when we feel that fulfillment, we uh, feel also that we have a lot of agency in our minds to do what it is that we want to do without interference, whether it's from our own negative beliefs or from allowing other people to um, hold us back in some way. 
and you're going to use that your past to heal any inner child wounds so you can move forward and have that positive energy of innocence and playfulness and just delight uh, and it's coming because you're needing to make a decision again the swords are coming saying that there is a crossroads at the crown that you're seeing and you need to uh see both of these figures have blindfolds so there's something that you're needing to see now with your eyes with your mind uh, and when you do that you will be able to also acknowledge look at all this uh, potential territory uh, land behind you that's ground you can stand on and work with and you're going to uh, take the blindfold off and turn around and see uh, what it is that was holding you back from this decision uh, but the, your childhood your past someone from the past is influencing you around a decision that may, has to be made um, around this uh, broken heart, this energy of severance in a relationship. And look at the clouds and the rain that are just sh coming down um, over this uh, energy. And that's what's coming in right now because it's asking you to finally look at some a brokenness, some betrayal, uh, some uh, regret that happened in terms of a uh, ending of a relationship that has caused you to be very uh, tangled up, a Taurus, and feeling not good enough, left out. Um, and also uh, that it has something to do with your past, with your childhood, with the people around you when you were a child. And you have a lot of deep feelings about your past, but you're somewhat tangled up, blindfolded, isolated, a feeling limited mentally um, about how to solve this feeling of not being good enough, not feeling that you're aligned with your spiritual wealth. And you're having to make a decision about how you're going to deal with this um, pain, this grief, this loss. And the pain is in your mind uh, now because the swords are in the mind and that is what's keeping you kind of limited in your heart. And you're going to um, work with that now because you are going to let that all come to an end with the death card. Well, this is coming to an end. Um, and you're going to have a lot of feelings about this ending with the Queen of Cups and your intuition is almost maybe telling you whatever you know you maybe had to make a decision on um, looking at the past relationships that have hurt you. A divorce, a severance in a friendship or a deep relationship that came to an end and it needed to come to an end so you can move toward your new destiny and um, come into this rebirth and rebirth of your heart, rebirth of the way you allow these feelings to uh, flow through you. And it's flowing because of the sun with the environment uh, around you, just your situation itself, the people all around you are bringing in this optimism, this happiness. And when the sun shines in a reading, a Taurus, it's illuminating uh, with this uh, sense of uh, enlightenment coming to you with the rebirth. So after death comes the sun. So after some ending that might have been very painful and very emotional and you have a lot of intuitive feelings about um, uh, is coming uh, with brightness, with happiness. This could be also saying well, something is ending because this relationship with the three of swords, you had to pull those uh, swords out of your heart. Those are the way you think about the hurt. And you're pulling them out one at a time, making a decision. It's time to now uh, make a decision about this ending. And what you're ending is any negativity about feeling lacking, not good enough, uh, like you're crippled or handicapped or uh, not well. But you are letting that go um, with optimism and clarity and happiness and joining with a partnership 
Maybe this could be an announcement of a new kind of love, a new kind of partnership coming in that's going to bring you this happiness. After you let the tower come down, that something is needing to come to uh, the end, to let it go. You have a wake-up call in the sense that you have this energy that is saying in this relationship needed to come down. It wasn't built on a firm foundation. And now that it's coming to the end, that's your hope and your fear, that something will uh, come to its completion so a rebirth can come. And that rebirth is coming with the Nine of Cups, with a, a sense of fulfillment, a wish come true. And so it could be almost saying is that as you let this structure, this relationship, this belief system, this way of life uh, come to an, an end uh, with this death, and you know it's coming, each Taurus, you know what this is that needs to come to completion. And when it does, the light of the sun is going to shine um, clarity over this a tower moment. And the tower could connect to uh, any feeling of a relationship that uh, hurt you deeply, broke your heart, uh, betrayal, a sense of sorrow and sadness. But it needed to come to an end so you can leave behind this feeling of lack, of loss, of not being good enough. And now you're making the decision uh, to uh, wake up to this, to really see it clearly. For once and for all, take the blindfold off and to leave behind any uh, self-sabotaging feeling of being imprisoned in your own mind. And when you uh, let go of that, there is a completion, there is an end coming. And this death leads to rebirth, and the rebirth is coming with the sun. Uh, that energy of optimism, of faith, of hope, of renewal, of growth. And the growth is going to bring you fulfillment, uh, happiness. And it's going to be deep, and the feelings are coming in because you're nurturing your feelings from your past healing the childhood wounds or any relationship with your past. So you will find that uh, sense of happiness, that bliss is coming in now. And it's coming with, uh, after you let go of any uh, sense of, of defeat with the nine uh, and ten, and then now you come to completion here. So you're letting go of, of whatever it is that your mind has been uh, creating around you. Uh, this hurt, this grief, this mainly the way you're thinking about the situation. It's already over. It's already ending. The new day is dawning. And it's coming because of, uh, it's coming in quick. Uh, with the Eight of Wands, well, this is the green light to move forward to this new day, this new dawn. With a lot of communication, and you're going to feel your spirit guides around you giving you this information. Uh, and it's coming in quickly. But you see that each of these wands have been fired together, but they could hit your target at different times. So something, when you let this end in the realm of the mind, this feeling of defeat, a mental defeat, uh, it's going to bring in the success and communication, uh, a lot of relationship energy, a great time to move out there and socialize and to communicate. And it's going to come in fast and you're going to move out boldly with this new energy. Uh, out with the old and in with the new and have this confidence and be very cocky and daredevil energy uh, toward moving forward now. It's time. And it's going to come with a sense of, of celebration. You've reached a rite of passage. Uh, after this difficult uh, a time with the tower, uh, where these two uh, figures, this, two, this relationship came flying out of the tower, you are now celebrating it. You're celebrating where you come to, come to this uh, new phase of life. And you're going toward it quickly, boldly, confidently. 
with intuition and passion and a lot of a communication is coming towards you now and you are communicating with others and beginning this a process of socializing uh, communicating uh, connecting uh, relating and you're going to relate out of this ending because you're letting it go you know you come to the end of this phase of your life uh, and it's going to bring you a, a deep feeling around you of your past something is going to come up to be healed and nurtured uh, from the past Taurus and it's going to come in as a wish fulfillment with a lot of satisfaction uh, just sharing in the joy with others and it's coming with the joy of the sun with a new rebirth uh, with optimism happiness a, per, a new relationship that's going to be very healing and very bright and um, a, just a joyous time in life uh, after you let this ending um, come and it's going to come to its completion this ending is over it's ended now and you can celebrate that because you're uh, have getting uh, out of this prison of your mind now you're letting that all go and you're gonna make a new kind of choice in your mind take your blindfold off and see all of the opportunities around you uh, to move away from uh, any sense of loss of lack of heartbreak of betrayal uh, that caused this tower uh, for this uh, crash to come down but this is very positive because out of this tower uh, comes this new beginning to go forward uh, to a new destiny and you're going to do that with a lot of confidence boldly now and it's coming with a celebration and there you are celebrating after the tower you're rebuilding under the portal of 1111 with that uh, garland of hope and renewal and reaping the rewards of all this work you've done to connect to this new kind of partnership and it's going to be very uh, successful because it's coming with the sun and uh, that is what I have for you uh, today Taurus amazing a uh, reading when this finds you it's meant for you and uh, there are some difficult changes as we let this uh, ending come but the new rebirth is coming because it's going to bring an illumination and it's gonna uh, whatever you have created that was not true and real and right for you is going to come a tumbling down in the light of the Sun so you can radiate out of that and move toward that nine of cups that happiness and to celebrate that and uh, that is what I have for you and such a beautiful reading Taurus and so uh, happy to be here with you as we go through these cards and I hope it resonates and have that faith and courage to move into the sunlight into that a uh, shining happiness and it's going to involve connecting to another person and you're gonna feel that a sense of expansion um, and to move into a whole new uh, reality a whole new rite of passage a whole new life and that is coming for you Taurus and sending you so much love and light and see you next time bye bye